So fresh off the plane from New York City a couple days ago, I decided it was time to do a little bit more travel. So now I found myself here in Kansas City to meet up with some friends. Never been to KC before. How are you First doing? First time. Great. Did we figure out if we're in Kansas or Missouri yet? Missouri. Missouri? Yes. Alright. But maybe in five minutes we'll be back in Kansas. Maybe this is the line right here. <laughs> What's this guy doing? This guy would not stop pestering me until I bought a plane ticket. Yeah. And flew up here. You. I had to. What's up, buddy? Not much, yourself. Oh, you know. Living the dream? Probably. How many you trimmed so far? That's a great question. I don't know. I mean, we went through... This is the fifth case. No, there's six cases left in there. Oh, there's six cases? Yeah. This is the fourth? Yeah. We're slow. Mr. Yoder. Mr. Robinson. Why are we in... Kansas City. Well, we're in Kansas City because Texas barbecue is king and the people in Kansas City just don't know it yet. But they're about to find out on Saturday. Have you got any death threats yet? No death threats. We did go to a bunch of the local Kansas City places just to get a lay of the land in. It's just a completely different style and um, a totally different tradition. So, like these restaurants that were opening here, you know, 70 years ago, there wasn't an established style of barbecue for them to use as a guideline. So now people will get on the internet and be like, oh, you must do it this way. And they were just cooking for a long time and getting it tender. So respect that tradition. But I wanted to give them a little sample of my favorite style of barbecue. So it's all friendly, but um, you know, we, we want people to come out and try it and give us their opinions. And if they think that Kansas City barbecue is still the best, that's totally fine. You can try to convince me of it. As long as I can be the Spider-Man of the group, then we'll So we're like the Beef Vengers? Oh god. I'm, I'm four. I was thinking meat vengers, no. That is a lot of brisket trim, Mr. Yim. Good stuff, man. Oh, that's cool. It's good stuff. Is there any other trimming or prep to do today? No, not today. We made the glaze, we got that done, we got all the brisket trim, just need to make sure we store all this. Ribs, because we're just doing St. Louis. We'll have to trim them, but Brian and I will cook them. When? We don't know yet. We're we'll playing it by you. Yeah. Made it back to the Airbnb. Erica, wh where are we in the world right now? Um, Liberty, Missouri. Liberty, Liberty. She tells me that this is the only Airbnb in this entire <laughs> town. Which leads me to believe that it's completely haunted. Joe Yin, what do you think? I don't know, I've been drinking so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I aim a camera at this guy. <laughs> Seriously, it is only when I'm with you. Do you know what he just told me? That he bought this today. It's a lie. Yesterday. We bought it yesterday. <laughs> Most of it's going into a glaze anyway. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hi. We're sleeping in bunk beds together tonight. Oh yeah, we are. More room for activities. And of course, we gotta have some mirror light. Jeremy took me out for a lovely dinner. At? Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Oh, yeah. I leave Texas and within <laughs> 20... <Stop. laughs> it's like the first time I've ever been to a Texas Roadhouse and it wasn't me even too. in Texas. I've never been to Texas Roadhouse. So needless to say, I feel terrible. There is another option for sleeping tonight. I mean, tell me that's not the creepiest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Look at the bunk up there. Ooh. Ooh. You're going to wake up in there after a couple more of these. <laughs> Joey, how are you at B-Ball? Can be deceiving. <laughs> it's kind of a nice property, though. Pretty cool. That's nice. We uh, we were actually gonna stay in Airbnb at another place. The first thing that happened when we got there is we got yelled at by the neighbor. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, traveling to Airbnbs with a thousand yellin can be yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Not advised. Not advised. We came here. I'm gonna shoot right because you hold my drink. We'll stick to barbecue. Yeah. To be fair, that is the world's flattest ball. Give that a dribble for me, real quick. <laughs> 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 Joe Yim, you ready to go get some lunch, buddy? I guess so. Where are we going? To the motorcycle and pie place? Yeah, motorcycles and pie. We've been searching the internet all day for a good place to eat, and all the good places aren't open till like five. We're also kind of staying on the outskirts of town. That's why they got this phone here. It's your favorite motorcycle. Yeah. A little fried chicken for lunch. Fried chicken before we cook barbecue later today in the fried onion capital of the world. How you feeling, buddy? You doing all right? The sun is out. It's a good day. It's a great day. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy here, but that was the worst fried chicken I've ever had. Not good. I ate it. It wasn't terrible. Kind of soggy and cold. It was the undercooked bun that really just lowered my spirits a little bit. But it's just the problem is we're a little too far out of town. Yeah, I've been home away for three weeks. I'm feeling a little homesick as well. <laughs> oh, buddy, bring it in. All right, the day is taking a turn for the better. We just got out of the movies. The Evil Dead Rises. That's the bloodiest movie I've ever seen. Yeah. It was pretty, yeah. pretty incredible. It kept up in the ante throughout the entire movie. That yeah. was nuts. Nuts. But you're right. You know, I had a nice, I had a nice eight dollar small diet coke. <laughs> 
It was a great theater too. Biggest yeah. screen I've ever seen. Really good theater. Comfy I chairs. love going to different theaters. KC redeeming itself a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. All right, what's next? We're we gonna go cook some ribs. Yeah, gotta finish some briskets, start some ribs, and then hopefully get some sleep. In between, and maybe a couple of beer skis along too. the way. Yeah. <laughs> we got this guy in the house. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? How you feeling? Tired. It's been a long two weeks, but I'm good. Glad to be out here. Hell yeah. So our ribs are here. They're just being pulled over and inspected real quick. Hopefully they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of your billboard, Jeremy. <laughs> it's this cute little guy right there. That little guy? That little guy. That one's getting the boat. The old, old boat ski. The old boat ski. Looking good, though. We call this the microfoil boat right there. We're yeah. just, just a tip. Feeling like a winner. Is it feeling better now? I didn't touch it. I'm holding oh, my camera. camera. It's getting it's better. What? Oh yeah, there you go. Those are looking real nice. What do you guys think? Jeremy, what time did these uh, go on the pit? We got them on at maybe like 7.50 or so, which is an hour after we wanted to, but you do what you gotta do. Yeah, they're looking nice, nice yeah. and barky. Oh, there you go. All right, the forbidden frosting in its natural habitat. Forbidden, forbidden frosting. <laughs> I have not heard like that, that, but I like it. The funny thing is, I've been uh, staying in a sleeping bag at the Airbnb, and Jeremy Your rolled favorite? me up just <laughs> like this last <laughs> night. Tucked me right on in. It was great. Jeremy, how long have you been on the road at this point? Since like March 30th. I'm kind of tired. Eating a lot of barbecue. So far, what's the best bite of food of the trip? The best individual bite of food? Yeah, I think probably the bacon rib. I had a little yeah. Lewis. Can't go wrong with oh, bacon ribs. This is unbelievably good. Yeah. And then the, the best bite of brisket I had was actually at Franklin. I was surprised because, I, I mean, I people that. have said, it's like, oh, well, I was losing it. And so I wasn't really expecting yeah, anything. Went there, there, took the first bite, and I was like, wait a second. This is incredible. But overall, I was very impressed with the quality that I saw. I mean, Terry Black's was great. Leroy and Lewis was great. Franklin was great. I mean, really good stuff. What about the best sausage and turkey you had? The best turkey was uh, undisputable. Brad made it for Easter and legitimately it was the best turkey. I'm not just saying that because you're right here, but uh, it was really, really freaking good. And I've been just kind of done with barbecue because I'd eaten so much. And even, even with that, I was like, this turkey's pretty incredible. That turkey was cooked with Chud Rub on sale now at shopchuds.com. <laughs> nice looking weenies. Thank you. What are they? Uh, Texas Hot Wings. Ooh. Do you think Joe Yam is going to film it? Uh, it looks like it. <laughs> You're going to film me? That's what I'm told. Oh, bro. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice, juicy looking little coin. Oh, yeah. Woo. That is not too spicy, by no. the way. That's beautiful. Good. Nice and smoky. Nice and plump. Jeremy, how you feeling? I'm feeling a little tired. I was out in the sun all day, which was not ideal. At least it wasn't too hot and it wasn't too cold. The weather was beautiful. But are you ready? Are you ready for tomorrow? I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Yeah. Feeling a little stressed out? I'm so stressed. I think I just need a good cry. <laughs> no, but it's gonna be a lot of fun, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, it's fun to cook a bunch of barbecue with people I like and. I mean, it's a blast for me in that regard. Of course, there's stress. I want to make sure everybody has a great meal. But for me, this experience is, is one of the reasons, well, it's the real reason that I wanted to do this event in the first place. Because, I mean, partly, I want people to experience Texas-style barbecue, and I want to get to hang out with my friends and cook barbecue. So it's a win-win, I think. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, briskets are wrapped in paper. One of them's in foil, but we're gonna do a nice uh, yeah, comparison on that. It's about nine o'clock p.m. before the event, and it's time to get some ribs going. Got some St. Louis, and they're not frozen. Gotta love that. Do they have the skirt? Some of them do, but most of them don't. Oh, that's a lifesaver. Time to trim and season some ribbies. These briskets should be coming off these pits pretty soon, hopefully within the hour. And then uh, me and Joe and whoever else wants to hang out are gonna get the rib cook going, pop them in the warmer, because we do, in fact, have a warmer, conveniently enough. Not sure how much we're gonna be able to fit in there, but uh, better than nothing. We're gonna take the tips I, I off. Some the membranes, the nothing. Off. No membranes. Okay. <laughs> uh, look at him, Joey and the wizard. I feel like it could go a little bit, but I wouldn't be mad about what it feels like. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little firm. Uh, okay, so feel this part right at the edge right here, okay. compared to this side right here. So all that knowledge about how to feel a paper wrap brisket, let's go ahead and check on the foil boat, shall we? Oh, 
Oh, look at that. I can just touch it. I can feel it. I can lift it. Perfect. You don't want to drag them like I'm doing right now, though. That's how you poke the bottom. Oh, I'm getting someone smug in my face right now. Oh, this is feeling good, though. Probably like another 45 minutes on that one. Briskets are coming off the pit slowly. But surely. Have you tempted that foil belt one? I probably should do that. But as briskets come off, the day must continue on. So, ribbies are finally entering the smoker. How many racks we got? Do you remember? 113, I think. 113 racks in this church parking lot. Beautiful place. It's also <sighs> kind of cold. Wind died down though, which is nice, but yeah, we're in seasoning mode. So we hit these with a bunch of salt, let them sit. Now we're hitting them with pepper and on the pit they go. It is currently 11 o'clock at night. We'll see how long this night goes. Ooh. Ooh. What's going on guys? My name is Lord Saunders. I have the Lord Saunders Smokehouse. You can find me at Lord Saunders Smokehouse on all the platforms. I'm out of Austin, Texas. I will ship you brisket to your house. Oh. To your house. I've heard word about maybe some pastrami. I don't know. Oh, oh. Pastrami brisket. It's the best. I will also ship that to your house. Beef ribs, ribs, pastrami brisket, brisket, the whole thing. We'll ship it right to your house. Try to get all these ribs on. These freaking pits right now. There's only a few pits. Yeah, we got one without a thermometer, one that, I don't know. I, it's just learning and cooking on new pits for the first time. And uh, we also, uh, we need warmer space, I just realized, for all of these ribs. At least we got good friends and good yeah. beers. <laughs> this is a unique part of this event that, you know, there's really not much at stake because we're not charging money for it. <laughs> Doesn't have uh, my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, we're, we're flying by the seat here, folks, and we're gonna see what happens. Probably gonna be here for a good couple hours, deep into the night. So everyone else has left us. It's now 2.23 in the morning. All fires are glazed up. And uh, yeah, these are all full of ribs. We got a hundred and some odd racks on here. And these ones on the top rack are definitely looking nice. Got the bourbon glaze. You ever wonder about temp differences? That's top rack, bottom rack, bourbon glaze. It's also like 35 degrees out here right now. It is cold. <laughs> And just like that, folks, we've got ourselves Pork Rib Mountain. But that's not all. That's just the first peak because we've still got all of these to wrap. Oh, as well as all of these. And we can't forget about all of these. Joe, why are we cooking so many ribs? How many people are coming to this thing? Uh, I think it's 500 reserved, and then we got like an extra 100 on a wait list. So, I don't know. Potentially 600. I don't think we'll be able to have enough food for that thing. Well, at the very least, if you come to this thing, you'll get yourself a damn pork rib. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right, back to wrapping ribs. It we are... feels like 10,000 ribs, man. It really does. <laughs> like, you say 112 ribs or whatever, and yeah. you you don't think it's all that much or maybe you do i don't know but what time the birds are chirping it's now yeah. 5 20 in the morning and uh we're on our last rack there it is will you do the honors got this beautiful bourbon glaze inspired by the one and only evan Leroy. cheers yeah delicious bourbon glaze pork ribs <sighs> come on and then a little flippy flip light jizz Oh my god, we're done! Uh, just to show you guys what 110 racks looks like. That's a lot of bones. It goes all the way back. Yeah, it wouldn't fit in our dinky little warmer over there, so. Oh, my knees hurt so much right now. It's so cold. Not gonna lie, my nips are chafing. It's real cold out here. It's time for bed. Well, the problem is there's no Ubers running this late, so I think we're we stuck check. here. We gotta check. So we just finished cooking ribs. We tried to call an Uber. There Nobody was nothing. And then an angel shows up out of the dark. And there he is back there. It's Taylor. How you doing, buddy? What's up? Group hug, bring it in. Oh, warm. <laughs> Welcome to Kansas City, my friend. No, it's about as, yeah, it's what I expected. <laughs> Joe, we're back. It's uh, like noon, got a few hours of sleep, and now it's time to join the party. How'd the food come out? 
Awesome. Ooh. Look at those ribbies. Yeah, the rush is over. Yeah. Ooh. Who cooked those? Those look all right. That's oh, hey. How's it going, boys? Hi, it's how's, to see you. how's the day been? Oh, it's great. Good. Yeah. Thanks for working on those ribs. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I could have been there for the end of it. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice looking ribs, bud. I was just saying, it's not really a Texas style rib because everyone's like sauce in their ribs okay. instead of bourbon glazing it. But it's salt and pepper. So. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Smoky. Not too bad, though. Good color on there. Surprisingly. Nice and tender. Oh, yeah. Not wrong with that, folks. Boys. Is it snowing right now? It is it's snowing in Kansas. <laughs> Welcome to Kansas City. You know, it's not supposed to happen. Well, I guess we're in Missouri right now. But yeah, <laughs> welcome to Kansas City. That's a nice looking little burn in. Oh, oh look at that. Huh, I see some paper and just a naked brisket on the bottom of the cookie. Oh, yeah. What happened? I don't know. I blame Joe. <laughs> That wasn't me. Poor little uh, guy. That wasn't Who me. Who was it then, Joe? No, no, we were in me. charge of ribs, so you can tell it wasn't us. <laughs> this was this was post wrap. Well, honestly, all right. Here's a new uh, new part of the giveaway. If you win this smoker, it comes with a brisket cooked by us. <laughs> it had a really long rest. Real long rest. Oh, that's a How's the uh, the consistency on these, like cook wise? Are some more? There's a handful this? that are overdone, but for the most part, they are pretty darn consistent. I was looking at that one at the bottom of the smoker. That one looks a little overdone. I think so, yeah. Probably, probably because of our 350 degree rib cook that we did in there. <laughs> Why does that brisket uh, look so that. much better than all the other ones? <laughs> I can't figure it out. Oh yeah, show me that fatty. Oh, show it to me. Oh, oh my ass. <laughs> You complain about how much editing you do, it's mainly because of you. <laughs> <laughs> you are your own worst editor. Nah, don't worry, that'll make the cut. <laughs> it is so cold. Is it? Oh, uh, you know, it's I actually fine. The snow and the, and the hail that's going on. I didn't hear about this. Cold. <laughs> oh, look at that burn end. Slightly more burnt than other yeah. burn ends. Oh, okay. yeah. So much so better, right? Throw away everyone else. Got, and, like, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, and that is gonna do it for the Kansas City vlog here, hanging out with Jeremy Yoder, Joe Yim, and the whole group of people. It was a very fun event. Everyone enjoyed the food, got to meet a lot of really cool people in this town, and general consensus is everyone loved Texas barbecue. There's still a lot of diehard fans for Kansas City, and you know what? That's the best part about all of this, is we don't have to choose. You can cook whatever you want. But everyone was super friendly. It was really great to hang out with a lot of people here today, and, uh, and yeah, a lot of fun. And I must say, it's been really cool to cook barbecue and volume like this again. It's been a couple of years since I cooked that many ribs. And luckily, I had Joe Yim helping me out, so. Everyone loved the ribs, by the way. Salt, pepper, whiskey, glaze. Mm. And of course, if you want to see all the info on how that was done, and this event in general, be sure to check out Mighty Joe Yim's channel, and Mad Scientist Barbecue as well. There's going to be plenty of details there but it's really cold and I'm kind of tired going on just a few hours of sleep so I think it's time to head out of here maybe uh, take a nap and grab some din din Jeremy how'd the event go buddy it was great I got educated in Kansas City style barbecue <laughs> there's a guy who even showed up with a KCBS master judge t-shirt on and so I knew I was in for a treat I wonder if he bought it sleep tight sweet prince <laughs>